Once upon a time, in a very wet place under the sea, there was a friendship like no other between the O-16s and the O-18s. But then one day, a great force they'd only ever heard of in fairy tales, evaporation, took many of the O-16s away from their O-18s. There was enough energy for a few O-18s to tag along, but most of them were too heavy and they were left behind. These O-18s were very lonely without their O-16s. Start my atomic mass. Only I were lighter. Then I could have gone with Jen. In the atmosphere, Jen found herself surrounded mainly by other O-16s who were split apart from their O-18s, although a lucky few couples remained together. Oh yay! We're here on our honeymoon! Take a picture of us in the atmosphere! Oh my! What was that? Ollie? Ollie? Ollie, where'd you go? Geez, there sure are a lot of you O-18s here. Well, not to weigh you down, but we are a lot heavier than you O-16s. Our atomic mass is just bigger than yours, so we precipitate more easily. You're lighter, so you and the other O-16s were evaporated more easily. Oh. Yeah, precipitation is such a fat shamer. I'm gonna protest once I get back to the ocean. Brr, it's cold. I hope you didn't promise anyone you'd be coming back to the ocean anytime soon. To get back to the ocean quickly, you would want to precipitate somewhere in or near it. Unfortunately, we were over Antarctica at the time, so we're on a glacier. Melting off this glacier is going to take thousands of years. It'll be ages before we see the ocean again. Oh, sleet! And so while Jen is far away from Ox, one day when the ice melts, they'll be reunited and live happily together as Ox and Jen. It's important to note that O18 and O16 don't share a special bond of any sort, but for our narrative, we gave them a friendship to better explain how they cycle through our atmosphere, oceans, and ice sheets. Uh, they both happen to be isotopes, and their presence in ice cores are important because it tells us about the weather at different points in time. We can see this from the O18 to O16 ratios, and these ratios vary due to their differences in atomic masses that cause them to precipitate and evaporate at different rates, as explained in the narrative. Thanks for watching.